Hi everyone, this is Ringo. It's been a long time since I filmed my last video. It's because we have a lockdown and also I just have my new baby born. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to talk about 5 tips when purchasing pre-construction. Okay, so the first tips will be, if you're purchasing pre-construction, remember to tell your agent, or you can even check by yourself, that whether or not the land has been zoned and purchased. Some of the developer are selling the project without purchasing the land. And that's not it. If the land has not been zoned, most likely is that it will be canceled. So remember, when you're purchasing pre-construction, remember to check whether or not the zoning has been permitted and whether or not the land has been purchased. Because 70% of their project being canceled is due to the fact that zoning is not permitted. The second tips that I have for you is that when you're purchasing pre-construction, remember to look out for the implicit cost, okay? Usually I tell my client that you need approximately around two to 3% of your purchase price for the closing cost. The, the reason being is that we have tons of closing costs that we need to pay. First, we need to pay carry-on. Second, we might need to pay the development charge. And then third, we have to pay for the discharge of mortgage for the developer. At the end of the day, it will all be listed at the end of the agreement purchase and sales. So you can just do the calculation yourself and get an approximate number of how much you need for the closing costs. Third, and this is one of the most important things that I have to talk about in this video, is that do not rely on 10 days cooling off period. For your information, if you're purchasing freehold, you don't have the 10 days cooling off period, okay? If you're purchasing condo, you, you do have the 10 days cooling off period according to the bylaw. However, when you're purchasing a condo, you're hanging in the bank draft to the developer. And sometimes, when you hang in the van draft to the developer, it might take like two or three weeks to return it. So, as I mentioned, do not rely on the 10 days cooling off period. Okay, so fourth, I know that many of you have concern in regards of the quality of the finishes and also uh, whether or not the builder can complete the project or not. That's why uh, we have Terry on here. So you can click on the link below that state how many houses have the builder has been built and also how many people filing a complaint against the builder. Uh, in that way, you can know whether or not the builder is trustable or credible or not. So the fifth tips I have to give it to you is do not purchase because the project is cheap, okay? If it's cheap, you gotta be, have a reason behind it, okay? Based on the current market right now, it's impossible to have a condo that is under $700 per square foot. If a developer that is selling a project that is under $700 per square foot right now, and you purchased it three years ago, most likely is that the project will be canceled. Anyway, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe my channel and also click on the button below.